A crowd of peasants are going behind him and screaming, A witch! A witch! What is he gonna do with this poor girl? He's gonna burn the ginger girl who's a witch! Oh, that's not good. Should we intervene? Feel sorry for the girl and stun her before she is burnt at the stake. Alright, so it does seem that the majority of you are okay with the idea of me being a grifting conman plague doctor because you want to see some more of this and I'm happy to apparently oblige. So before we go onwards here as we are in chapter 6, let's go to the store first and uh, see about getting some upgrades. I think we've accumulated some pretty good money. But you know what, we haven't even done the scalpel one yet, have we? Speeds up the clinical progress. Let's pick that one up. There's another one still to upgrade, of course. And let me also pick up 350. Now we're gonna be fairly broke. But we bought some good things. We have no money to drink, unfortunately. Hopefully our mood isn't so bad. Because right now we spent everything we have. Let's go to the doctor's house and start our day. What is my event for this one? The residents of the neighboring lands are suffering from fever. The chief is concerned that the disease can spread on your lands. Well, what is this, COVID? To lock the village down for quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Lock the village down. Why is that going to make you unhappy, you scumbags? What are you, Americans as well? I, I, I live in the 16th century of America because they're unhappy with the quarantine. I'm trying to save your lives! You knew more about bloodletting and now are ready to use your skills for curing new diseases. Migraine. <laughs> I'm glad I got that scalpel upgrade for a migraine. <laughs> oh, that's right, I forgot about you. <laughs> you came back the next- I told you last time, give me a couple of days, dog. You keep showing up every single day. I'm trying to, like, you know, cut town before you show up again, because I cut your eye out and... You still haven't been solved. <laughs> it needs more time. Yeah, get out of here, dog. I'm gonna bonk you with that as you're leaving. Oh, it's quick hands. Oh, I hate you so much. Hey, healer. You are constantly working. You don't have a minute to spare. Would you like to take your mind off of your business? Are you proposing what I think you're proposing? Not sure, Vom. I mean, it's 16th century. Maybe I shouldn't be so picky, huh? It'd be great to take a rest for a little while. Yeah, I bet that's what you'd be doing. Go away. I don't have time for your silly things. I have my hands full. Well, you know, maybe we could finally meet her halfway and she could stop stealing from me and making life difficult. Sure, let's rest a little while with Quick Hands. And uh, I can see why they call you Quick Hands too, huh? Haha, -ha, such a brat. Like the old drunkard bully. I don't even know what that means, but sure. Monsieur, give me some money so I won't starve. Recently, I had to eat rats. Is that who I just laid with? Somebody who eats rats? Fine. Taken. How much should we give her? 20? That's fine. Will you leave me alone now just so I could do my job, you know, come in here and steal my items? What's your problem? Person, oh, oh headache! Oh, that should be the new one. Um, okay. Migraine. Migraine is characterized by a really bad headache, obviously, and a lack of appetite. So, we need to take that, we need to mortar it up, and then we brew it, and we take the brew, put it in there, and then we also use leeches for the migraine. That's intriguing. Okay. So, you here, you there, you in there, okay? Okay, and then leech. Top chuk chia, yeah, I know. No problem. So that's the leech one. All right, that's something we got to remember. He's got red eyes. Um, this one is fairly simple, isn't it? High inflammation. You take that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take that, and then you brew it. Yeah, yeah. See, so the thing is, just learning the new ones quickly. Nope. Uh, oh, I missed. I messed it up already, didn't I? It was supposed to go on the rag falcon. You ding dong. Oh. Hey, rat, get out of here. I can still salvage. I can still salvage. Get out of here. Ahoy, ahoy. Ahoy, ahoy. <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> so much for knowing the recipes, huh? All right, he's limping. That's the gout. For gout, it was, um, you take this and you do that and then you do this. And... <laughs> all right, all right. You got to give me credit here. It's been like, you know, three or four days between my last video record. This guy's got an open wound. That one, I believe, is turpentine and egg yolk. Could be wrong about that. No, no, I was right. I was definitely right. Okay, so boom. Story. Dude, it's fine if you have story characters, but don't don't immobilize my moving. See, now I forgot what the hell I'm doing here. Ointment and then bandit. Okay, that's fine. Sew it up. The It's the blacksmith. He's here. I'm um, giving me the eyeball again. Knock him out and knock this rat out. Okay. I know how to deal with your kind. I just knock you out. You are completely burnt. 
You're out on the beach, apparently. It's bikini season. So you got burned, and now I forgot if you would burn, because again, it's been a while. So this is the one where you do the onion, and yeah, yeah, okay. You gotta do that thing, and then the mortar. Okay, I think I got it. So here, uh -huh. do that. Put a little salt in there, put a little thing in there, put a little ban, and you're good to go. Get out of here, dog. Go back to work. But you do that, you put that, you put that. Blacksmith's leaving. Good. Take a. <laughs> Take a mallet to the head for a job well done. That is gangrene. Now this one's simple. Just knock them out. You cut that off. You sew them back up. You give them a little patch and they're good to go. Don't even try it, Rat. Get out of here. A difficult personality. Teases the patients that they refuse to take the medicine. Right. That's burn again. We just did burn, Falcon. You're right. But see, now this guy's over here kind of intimida intimidating me, so... But that, oh, he's gone already. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> what caused that? I don't know. Maybe it's because we helped him out in the past and we cured his poisoning. He doesn't hang around too long. Okay, come on. Let's wrap up the day. Please. You gave me more time, there's more chance of me making errors. That's um gout, which is simple. We do this. We cut it up. We do that. Oh, you gotta love that gout. It's so easy to handle. Okay, so chapter seven. Let's go to the store. I'm probably thinking about partaking in a fine gentleman drink as well, but before we commit to that, we could still apparently get the upgrades to the scalpel, which we haven't even used properly just yet, I don't think, and the sewing thing, huh? And we could also get the pardon in case we screw up too much. There is that. Let me get the sewing one. No, I think it's fine. It could be worse. It could be worse. Not this time, drunkard. It's the middle of the night. You are sleeping calmly in your bed when suddenly you were woken up by some strange noise. You open your eyes and see a dark silhouette who is rifling through your stuff. A thief! <laughs> oh, imagine that. The thief being dumb robbed. At first you thought that you had to run the thief off. But is he armed? Hmm. Let's run this thief off. Oh, we got darker. You jump up with a battle cry. The scared thief runs away. In a panic, he forgets a small bag with money. You were proud with yourself, although you are scared stiff. Did we have 280 before? Because if we had 280 before or less, we basically got ourselves a free drink to cure that up, so it would be not too bad of a trade-off, I would say. Oh, another one. Ooh, a new herb as well. St. John's Wort. A recipe for depression. Hmm. Okay. You read about, or you read about the healing effects of St. John's Wort, and woke up earlier than usual to restock your herbs. <laughs> oh! Oh god, I was gonna be like, oh, you're back here to pester me some more, huh? The eye is feeling better. He can work. He's now a Cyclops, but at least his one eye works. Good. See you later, buddy. Maybe now you stop pestering me. You are welcome, you ignorant. Wow. Wow, no chill. What a scumbag he is. Don't waste time on me, I'd better go? What? Oh, depression? Yeah, yeah, sadness, sadness. I was like, what, what, are you, what are you here for then? The patient is depressed and sad. There is no obvious symptoms of illness. So we need the St. John's words, we mortar it up and then we brew it. It's actually a very simple solution, so... As long as I remember the right one to do for this, it should not be... Too big a problem. No problem. Give me a lot of depression ones. I'll handle those fairly simple. This is gangrene. Just as simple because all we gotta do is just sew that off completely. Quick hands is here as well. Doing her usual quick hand things. Quick hands do not steal this off of my hand as I'm trying to sew this woman up, right? And quick hands has gone really quickly too, I think because we gave her money. What's the point of me? Oh, that's classic depression right there too. So we said this one should be easy. And because of that, I shouldn't have to look it up, right? As I said, it was easy. Look at him. He's so good. Now, Quick Hands wasn't here too long, but she did return really quickly, so... A little bit of a trade-off. That right there is the old gout, which we need to do this for, this... Okay. So I thought that by being nice to Quick Hands, she would book it faster. That's not the case at all. She's just basically here forever. Stop it. I mean, I guess she doesn't take too long, but I don't know, it seems to be really random. Sometimes she's here for like a second or two, then sometimes she stays here forever. 
What is this one? Is that a cold? Oh, you are yeah, dead. It's just the uh, throat. So mortar cut brew. Mortar cut brew, remember? It's a really good way for me to remember that one, actually. Mortar cut brew. Although, you gotta remember which one you're mortaring, which one you're cutting. That's true. That is very true indeed. Um... No! No! Why would you listen to the town drunk? I'm very unhappy right now. After the good things I've done for you, I cured you of your poisoning. Apparently it's back. Apparently it's his back. That's an open wound. Um, open wound I already forgot, honestly. Wait. Uh, egg yolk and turpentine, right? Yes, I didn't even look it up. Did you take it? No, you didn't take it. Did you? Oh, maybe you did. Oh, she did take it. I thought that when I handed it to her, the, the, the drunk talked her out of it, but now he was just leaving me to give it. That's, uh, throat so cold for sure. Mortar cut brew. <laughs> Mortar cut brew. Yeah, I, I don't think helping these people does anything at all. It gives you the false sense that it does something, like, you know, helps you out in terms of leaving you alone, but, nah. It really- no, he doesn't need an onion on his wound. <laughs> Sorry, sir, I cut your arm off, here's an onion. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? Just I don't put it on your wound. I'm missing a hand here, it doesn't matter, just put the onion on the wound, dog. You got the gout. Alright, let's do that. No? Arm shop 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 shop, 7.30, alright, we're making some good bank here. Difficult personality. Uh, that's the gout. Okay. Yo, dude, don't listen to the drunk. He's drunk. We make fun of him for a reason. We see him walking up and down the streets over there, puking his brains out. You don't gotta listen to him. Then we take this, we do the turpentine, and then... That's cool. Rat, don't even try it. Sew up that wound. And do that. Get out of here. Okay, so we're at the end, finally. What bothers you, Holy Father? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my lord. Why have you left me? I'm very far from salvation. I mean, you haven't given me any details. What's wrong with you? They say the mandates of the Lord are righteous and cheer our souls. So why are you sopping over your sadness? You won't find salvation no matter how loud and sad is your voice. Go to confess, Holy Father. I'm gonna go with the first one to humor him. You know, give him a little bit of, um... Rhetoric. Oh my lord, I'm crying aloud by day, but you don't intercede for me at night. I can't get comfort. You know better than anyone that the lord works in mysterious ways. Well, perhaps such an ordeal has been given to you. Why are you being upset, holy father? Why are you being confused? Our lord will help you. Have the fate. <laughs> have a fate. Not have fate, but have a fate. That he will put power into our hands. The Lord does work in mysterious ways, people say, so... Oh, hi. Shine upon me, and have a mercy on me, Lord, for I'm alone and depressed. Lord will lead us to out of our trouble, shine upon our misery and forgive all of our sins. Why are you asking for forgiveness and babbling idly? Why don't you crave temptations and ordeal from him? What the hell did you just say? All right, so you know what? I'm not really sure what pad we have let that man down, but I can tell you this, if we're already kind of in a dark place already as it is, and if that dude was to indeed off himself, then we'll probably take a really big hit here. So how about we indulge in some drinkery with the local drunk? Yeah. Now, the peasants are getting upset. That's fine. I spent a little bit of money in that so that we could now go back out and we buy that item that's supposed to reduce peasants being upset with us. So let's go to the store now. I think it all evens out. We might even have a little bit of scratch left over to get an upgrade here. So this is the one that we need. Not bad. I'll take it. And we're still left with 540. We could even do it again. I'll hold off on that though. Let's get the... You haven't really technically used the scample yet, have we? Faster selling for now? Yeah, sure. In the evening, you hear some noise and warlike yelling outside. The local inquisitor is pulling a beautiful ginger girl. <laughs> a crowd of peasants are going behind them and screaming, A witch! A witch! What is he gonna do with this poor girl? He's gonna burn the ginger girl, who's a witch! Oh, that's not good. Should we intervene? Feel sorry for the girl and stun her before she is burnt at the stake. <laughs> Well, either way, apparently this woman's gonna die. Do we want to have a little bit of heart and stun her before that? 
I have a feeling that if we don't stun her, that's gonna probably dip into, like, sad state, but if we do... It's gonna also piss off the peasants again. But, as we have found out, it is cheaper to just drink some of the problems away than it is to get to the peasants, so... Steer clear from it. The villagers more and more often suffer from faintness and blood in the mouth. You have carried out numerous experiments with different infusions and now are able to fight back in a disease. Oh, you're back! How are you doing, Monsieur? How many sick people have you cured today? You again! Don't look so severely, healer. I mean no harm to you. Maybe you take some rest, or even drink some liquor. Maybe you are right, I already forgot how the world looks like. Why are you sticking to me, bothering me all the time? <laughs> That's a good question, why are you here all the time? Do you think drinking with her will probably lighten my mood a bit? Mm, didn't do much, but my peasant un upsetness went up. Actually, no, it, did it clear it a little bit? Or am I wrong? Am I just seeing things? Whatever. Ah, oh, Healy, you are not b as boring as I thought of you. Yeah, you, you want money now, huh? This is gonna be like an everyday thing. Maybe I should just tell you to buzz off next time, huh? Alright, I'm gonna do it one more time. One last time. Let's see what scurvy is all about here. Hang out there, give me a second. The patients are... The patient has halitosis. Rotten, fragile teeth. He suffers from weakness and dizziness. Hm. Well, I guess we're gonna start opening people up now. You gotta scout... You gotta cut it down, brew it, and then put another batch into the thing itself. Wow, we... Okay. That's not too bad. If I could just remember that we have to do it twice. Hello, good sir. Oh, you got the old gangrene. Well, that makes me happy because gangrene is one of the easiest ones to deal with. We have the faster sewing, allegedly. I'm not sure that's sewing any faster than the level 2 one was. Oh, here we go, Scurvy! The man says I stink as if I'm eating dirt. Okay, but you see the smell is coming out of her mouth. She's got... Her breath has been kicking all day, apparently. So, Scurvy, we said we gotta get in there, we gotta cut it open, and then we gotta brew, and then we put the herbs after the brew. Okay, you got it? Let's do it. Cut that out of your mouth. Good. Get it out of here. Then we gotta do this. Get out of here. We gotta brew it, Falcon. That's what we said. Brew it, you ding dong. Set that up like so. Come over here. Do that. Yeah! We cured our very first case of the, the kicking bread. You got the gout. That's a simple one. I like to see the gout because it's so obvious when you walk in, you over here just limping around. Humming lullaby. Here to put me to sleep, huh? We'll see about that. Okay, we got poisoning here on this one. One, two, three. Homeboy is gone. Good. I was about to bonk him in the head again. Must have known he got intimidated and he booked. What's your problem? Gangrene. I see those eyes. Oh, wait, sorry. I'm supposed to knock you out before I cut off your limbs. <laughs> Probably would be so good to, you know, just start cutting into his body as he's completely wide awake. Feel much better? Oh, oh come on, dude! Yeah, a giant, you could barely fit in my, my door frame, by the way. You're a tall man. Okay, we gotta be approaching the end here fairly soon, I have to imagine, right? Is that the right brew for that? It was turpentine and yolk for, um, the cuts, right? Yeah, alright. Surprised I remember that without looking it up. It's one of the very first ones, but it's still one of the ones that always tricks me. Poison one, two, three, leech it up. Alright, so oddly enough, we wrapped up a day with absolutely no event. I was expecting a follow-up from the priest, but apparently no such thing. So we made 565, one mistake made. Not too bad, all things considering, I would say. No follow-up into this one either. Intriguing. I'm gonna wrap it up here for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. As I mentioned before, if you wanna see some more, keep letting me know. We'll keep going the entire way through. So far, I'm having a blast with this. Things are getting a bit more hectic now with all the different stuff they're throwing my way, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah. We'll catch you guys next time. Look at that.